method was introduced in Uganda in 2014 and to realize all the benefits of this routine viral load monitoring we need to ensure that all steps are followed for each person that has a high viral load. These steps have been highlighted in the viral load algorithm which I have not included in the, in the, in the presentation but in summary when you have a high viral load, you need to undergo intensive adherence counseling. First time, second time, third time, one month apart. And after that, have a repeat viral load. If the repeat viral load is high, they, they are supposed to consider switching or consider resistance testing if it's available. So I'm looking at whether this cascade is adhered to. It's, it's, it's not known in, in, in whether this cascade is adhered to in Chiboga and Changkwanzi. And uh, I've defined my adherence to that cascade in, in a sort of a relaxed manner to, to, to have some, to ensure that I get some people who are adherent. So adherence to viral load cascade will be achieved when there is at least two documented intensive adherence counseling sessions within three months, a repeat viral load within four months, and an action taken based on the repeat viral load within eight months after receipt of the initial viral load. So we said it should be three counseling sessions, but I'm, I'm considering at least two documented then a repeat and an action. The action may be to switch, the action may be to continue depending on the outcome. So the objective of the study, the overall objective is to determine the level of adherence and explore factors associated with adherence to the viral load algorithm for patients with a previous high viral load in Chiboga and Chiampanzi district. Specifically, I'll determine the proportion of patients to, for whom the viral load cascade has been adhered to at the different levels among patients with the previous high viral load. So adherence will be looked at at the level of first counseling, second counseling, repeat viral load, switch, and then I'll present also the overall. But I'll look at how the timelines have been kept for each. Then to determine the median time to completion of completion at each level of the viral load algorithm for the patients with a previous viral load. So if we say that they should be cancelled within one month, then repeat at two months, repeat at three months, what is exactly happening in practice? What's the median time to completion of the of, of this of this acti of these activities? and to explore the factors associated with the uh, adherence of the viral load algorithm among patients with previous high viral loads. So the study areas are Chibok and Chiangwan's districts, and uh, I'm including all patients who had a high viral load between 1st April 2016 and, sorry for that, and March, 30th, March 2017. The reason why I ended with March is that I wanted to give at least eight months to the time of data collection. By the time of data collection, each of them, each of the records I'm looking at should have completed at least eight months because I'm saying completion should be within eight months. So it's a retrospective cohort study with a qualitative component where I'll explore other factors. The sample size is not calculated, but all records for that, time, for that period will be included in the study. April 2016, whoever had a high viral load in 2016 from April to March 2017 will be included. So the variables, for the first objective, because I'm looking at the proportion for which the algorithm was adhered, I look at the the, the, the first counseling who, who has been, who has, where, what's the proportion that are tiered for first counseling in terms of time, then second, third, then the overall. 
Then for the, for the second objective, I look at the median time for each activity. Data collection, I already did pre-testing in uh, Kasanga Health Center, did training for, for, the, for, the, for the data collectors, and then data collection will include also supervision of the, of the people who are helping me to collect the data. And um, I put here participant identification. I, I identify um, I identify participants from the from the lab records. The lab book. When results come, they are recorded in the lab book. But I also look at files to see any other any other viral loads that could have been missed in that period. So. I, 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 I use, I'm using a, a, an abstraction, an, an already designed abstraction tool to collect this data. So ethical considerations, IRB approval was sought, but for also for the qualitative, I'll seek consent from each participant. Data analysis, I'll use data to analyze proportions and time to each activity and to get the median time that I've mentioned. Then I'll employ Atlas TI after manual coding of the <coughs> qualitative data. So for progress, I've collected data already. Half of the data is collected. Data entry has started and consents are being translated for the qualitative component. The plans, if finances are received, I plan to complete data collection for both the qualitative and quantitative by mid-April, complete data entry by end of April, complete data analysis and write-up by end of May, complete the dissertation by end of June, and then the manuscript will come next. Uh, what I think I needed to be guided is whether you can submit a manuscript before the defense, or that comes after the defense. So depending on what is supposed to be done, I'll write the manuscript and, and, and wait for what happens next. Thank you. Thank you. So the health worker has done their bit by giving an appointment, but if they don't return, then it's been not adhered to. 
or the patient comes, there is evidence that the patient has been coming to the clinic, but they were not sent for the repeat viral load testing. So there is adherence is on both sides. So phrasing it, you can't phrase it from the direction of the clinic or from the direction of the other, from the direction of the health workers, because both must work together to achieve the adherence. But you you cannot achieve it unless there is a contribution of the patient. So if if you give an appointment and the patient doesn't come for counseling, you still have not achieved it. So that's why I keep saying for whom the viral load cascade has been adhered. It's, it's, it's a little bit confusing because we can't achieve it. We cannot say, because I'm looking at records, you cannot say that the patient was cancelled because an appointment was given. If they didn't return, still you did not achieve. And the, could we just go back to the background, which was clearly given by my colleague who is doing a similar thing. If the the thing is that uh, the reason why we are doing routine mon viral load monitoring is that we may achieve timely switching or timely management of these patients. So if there is a delay on any side and we don't achieve the timeliness of things, then we are not achieving the purpose for which we are monitoring routinely. Excuse me. Uh, um, um, what is the... So I'm interrupting, but... Uh, <laughs> What, what is what is the aim? What is what are you looking for in C? What, what is the hypothesis? Is the, oh, hypothesis in the hypothesis could be that you know uh, if you don't adhere to three um, you know counseling sessions, is it right? I mean, are they three? Yes. Whatever. Yes. They are good. Yes. Then you. Could you state that? Yes. Let me state it for you. What, what, is, what is the hypothesis for C? For C? Um, I don't know why you're saying for C. <laughs> <laughs> for, for, for objective C. <laughs> objective C, let me restate it. We are exploring factors. Actually, we are exploring the facilitators and barriers to adherence to the algorithm. It's, but here I've stated that exploring factors associated with adherence to the viral load algorithm among patients who had a high viral load. So for, I'm looking at only patients who have had a high viral load. So what, what are the factors that cause, or that, that, the, the factors or the barriers or the, the facilitators of this cascade being achieved? Sorry, sorry. I heard it. No, actually, this last thing is a qualitative. Oh, thing. it's qualitative. Mm -hmm. you, are, you are going so to, ask, um, to ask both the, the patients and, and the, the doctors workers why they didn't. Yes. Yes. Well, yeah. yes. I mean, so it is, yes, among these patients who had previous hand viral loads. Yes. So you are going to do qualitative studies with those people and, and with the healthcare workers In the to understand why why they didn't adhere to the algorithm. Yes, or why they claim to adhere to the algorithm. Okay. I think the, 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 the way it is stated, I think, is, I, I, I it can have, be important. I should have stated it better here. Shall have stated it elsewhere by saying that to explore the barriers and facilitators to adherence to the viral algorithm. Yeah, and as they say, they are both the patients and they are the providers. Yes. And if you look at the whole casket, behavior of different people, they affect what happens. And you may say, for those who have come, let's assume, are there people who come? Yes. And the, those who have come, are the casket adhered to the way they are? So we could start with an assumption among those who have come. But maybe if one focus also on those who are not coming, 
that could be a different intervention. Whether you want to go that way and intervene at the community level for people why not they come. But even those we have caught in the clinics, like there are many patients who come and have symptoms end up into the OPD. But they are not screened what they are supposed to be screened. For example, they say every person who comes to the, the clinic should be tested for HIV. I think that's the, the, the Minister of Health guide that everyone should be tested. But it may go out. So you may, you may focus on those who have come on that, or you may also say why do people not come. The intervention may be different, and, 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 and laying out your casket and clearly saying who am I focusing on. Yeah, I think that's why I wanted to complete a quantitative and be able to get some people who are tiered and people who did not adhere before I do the interviews, so that I have a good mix of, uh, of people who are tiered and those who did not adhere instead of randomly picking that the patients for, for, for interviewing for the qualitative. But could be going back to the question that I missed before I came to life. Um, the, the, the definition, I think because this viral monitoring is quite new, a new, a new guideline, we've not seen people really assessing how people are adhering to guidelines. But what is interesting is that I did not discuss with my colleague, but when I look at my definitions exactly in line with his, because for him he gave a window of three months, which is exactly in line with my windows. And so only that I've defined it, I've, made, I've put it slightly different from the way he's put it, but the window we are giving, comes to the same thing in terms of timelines because practically it may not be possible to really get people to come at exactly that month and, and really defining, saying that people did not adhere because they came a few days late. It, it's hard to have people who have really achieved this. And actually I had just said this thing after the first presentation when Professor Kamiya challenged me that if people really get cancelled twice, you mean they cannot suffer, probably they've overcome. So Probably I, I, that you needed, I needed to, uh, to adjust my definition a bit to be a bit pragmatic in how things happen. My so question, that's how I relaxed it. My question was on the eight months, why eight, why not nine, why? Because usually the minister of the government is six, and the six months, when you do repeat. So I, I gave out. Why eight, why not nine, why? What was the rationale? I just gave a window. <laughs> <laughs> My colleague gave a window of three months, I gave a window of two months because th there are challenges that every law of us have already mentioned. There are challenges of them returning, but there are also delays. For example, when you repeat the viral load, there are delays in this viral load returning. So achieving much as the mother, much as the minister has stated six months, we thought to be realistic. It, it would be better to give some window. Otherwise, you come back with a study and nobody really adhered at all. And actually, I've looked at the data already, which I so far have really get, even with this relaxed definition, getting somebody for whom that cascade has been adhered is it's like almost that The starting point is just like William said, if there is a standard, you have to use that standard. But you can collect more data to see what really works compared to the standard, and that can come in the discussion. But when they say that it should be done at six months, and for you, you say you consider nine months, mm -hmm. it might be very difficult to explain it to the people who are going to consume uh, the, 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 the results of your study. So I think where there are standards, we need to look at the standards. You might have a, uh, is it? There is, you, know, you can do a time to get the results or something like that, but um, that would be maybe your innovation and you say, you know means of health, we are saying this must be done by this time, but from this study we see that most of the results we have got after this time. But you have to stick to what they are saying because, I mean, they are... But this same meeting told me to the definition. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, we need to conclude this, but uh, Professor Katawe is I had, what's a qualitative something. Yes, I had, I had two points. One, you are going to do a qualitative study where you are 
Is it a sub sample of your overall sum? Sorry, I'm, I'm going to get from the same participants for whom I've, I've, uh, whose data I've looked at, but from each facility. By the way, I have 16 facilities from which I've collected the data from this district. So I wanted to look at could be two patients and two staffs. You need to and work out, let me just make a point. I think you need to work out how you're going to pick those two, mm. and whether you need two or one. Right? Actually, really the articulating what your inclusion criteria is going to be. But number two, I noted that you have said you're going to analyze your data manually, then you're going to analyze it the Atlas TI, but then you're going to and my point is that you can use Atlas TI, let me just put it the other way. It's advisable, you can enter your data into Atlas TI and code there, manage your overall data management there. You can code in Atlas TI and then you did state what kind of analysis you're going to do with your data. I think it's important to state what the point that you said is how are you going to analyze that data. This is a thematic analysis and so on. My, my comment is related to Dr. Katamba's. Um, I really think you should focus on the staff, the health workers, and not the patients, because they're looking at adherence to the algorithm. So, what you're trying to answer is despite people coming to the clinics regularly as instructed, the health workers are not doing the viral loads, so the viral loads are not coming back on time, and so on. So, it's outside um, the patient's control. So I would think this really relates to the health systems and not the patients. So for the patients, it's a different story about retention and so on. Okay, um, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Uh, I hope we are not confusing you, but I think what we are saying really fits within if you have the data for six months, you can add. The, um, the, 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 the data, you can look again at the data at 8 months, at 9 months, and even at, 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 at an additional time. But you must have that cut of point that the ministry recommends, and you must be able to speak to it with your analysis. I think it will be possible because I have collected dates. Yes. So I should be able, I, I will be able to see who exactly kept time. Yes. And then could be only that in a proposal had already put this other definition, so I don't know how to work with that, but it's possible in terms of analysis because I captured dates. Okay.